long-time viewers of this channel, you may start to notice a pattern emerging in the people that have been made stars of Ignorance is No Excuse and debunking creationism. Water is literally a liquid crystal superconductor of sound and light. Oxygen and water are actually acidic to biological molecules like amino acids and proteins and DNA and, you know, all these things. There is a growing wave of water wackos, both on YouTube and the wider internet. These people promote water as an amazing substance. It is fairly special after all. For example, the fact that solid water, ice, is less dense than its liquid form has a great effect on our oceans and climate. However, this is not the sort of factual-based position being promoted here. There's only one disease. It's called acidosis. Get rid of the acid, get rid of the disease. Acid in our body creates molds, funguses, and yeasts. These are the precursors to all disease. What we see here is not only sickeningly ignorant, but it is also dangerous and exploitative. Welcome to the world of ionized water. I said, I'll try anything at this point. It sounds too good to be true. How can water have different functions? So I started drinking it. I started drinking at level one, 8.5 for one week. Next week, nine. Third week, nine, five. And by the fourth week, I could drink 10 pH. You can't drink 10 the first week because you detoxify so much, you think you're sick. The premise of these devices is simple. As I described in my recent video to Neff, water can break apart into a hydrogen minus its electron and an oxygen and hydrogen that retained an extra electron, called hydroxide. The H plus is acidic and the OH minus basic. In water, the rate in which the two separate is so small in comparison to the rate of the reverse reaction that about two water molecules out of every billion are disassociated. This is why pure water is such a bad conductor of electricity, as the ions are actually what carries the charge. These devices report to break the water molecule apart using an electric potential, a process called electrolysis. They claim to separate the water into two ions, H plus and OH minus. Then collect and combine these to give a required pH. This is a flat-out lie. It cannot happen. Electrolysis can and does happen. However, pure water is such a poor conductor that the process is inefficient and slow. Not only that, but acids and alkalis require a counter-ion. You cannot have an excess of H plus to make an acid, or OH minus to make an alkali, without another ion of the opposite charge being available in an equal number. For example, hydrochloric acid, HCl, when added to water disassociates into a H plus and a Cl minus. If you were to follow the method supposedly used in these devices, there would be no counter ion, so it wouldn't work. It is even more ridiculous than that. Electrolysis of pure water gives two products gaseous oxygen and hydrogen. The suggestion that it is possible to collect what at best will be short-lived intermediates in this process in the manner proposed by these swindlers is no more than a rotten filthy attempt at fraud. The only conceivable way that you have a chance of making acidic or alkali solutions by the method used in the machines these scam artists push is by the addition of impurities such as salts to the water. Most, if not all, domestic water supplies have such impurities. However, the reason that these work is due to the fact that the dissolved salts form new compounds once broken down in the electrolysis device. Let us use common table salt, sodium chloride, as an example. The chloride ion is drawn to the positive electrode and forms chlorine gas. This is soluble and therefore has an opportunity to react with the OH- ions formed at the negative electrode. This produces hypochlorous acid. This is a weak acid commonly used in swimming pools, whereas the sodium ions are able to react with yet more OH- ions to produce sodium hydroxide, a strong alkali commonly found in drain unblocking products. 
These people are effectively selling to their customers a machine to make dilute Drano for them to drink. Now I'm not a doctor of medicine, but this strikes me as ludicrous. However, things get even worse. Almost as if getting people to drink Drano whilst paying well over the odds for the privilege was not enough. As previously mentioned, the two collected streams of water can be combined to produce a desired pH. Needless to say, this is not so simple. Combine these two products and you will produce sodium hypochlorite, aka laundry bleach. That's right, buy one of these machines and you will not only get a cleansing drink of drain cleaner, but also bleach. If all of this is not enough to turn your stomach, then hold this thought. All of this expense and self-poisoning takes place for no good reason. The acid-base chemistry that takes place in our bodies every day is not only commonplace and numerous in its incidence, but it is also regulated by our bodies naturally. And no. Acid in our body creates molds, funguses and yeasts. These are the precursors to all disease. Spontaneous generation of pathogens due to acidic conditions is so ridiculous that I am personally glad that Louis Pasteur is not around to hear it. All of this is based on a fundamental misrepresentation of a scientific principle and a denial of one of the greatest scientific theories available to us. Maybe this explains these machines more than anything. Consider, if your toilet is blocked and over time threatens to pollute all around it, it would be only wise to pour some drain cleaner down it. Maybe someone decided if this course of action worked for one instance of a fecally congested orifice, it may work on the other. Drink up. Ignorance is no longer an excuse.